The Chief Constable Awards Ceremony here at the Villa Marina. Uh, with me is Chief Gary Roberts. What we're going to do is we're going to be playing out all the big awards. I say all the big, I mean, just everyone really, besides the long service things over the next few days. Great stories. The stories are incredible. And till now, they've been hidden from the public. Some of them have been hidden because they were sub judice. Some have been hidden because people don't want publicity. But actually, this is what goes on all the time. And it's right that we should capture it because you can become blasé. And this, this thing today was about bringing families in to show pride in the people who they love. Of course, I mean, a lot of the guys say, well, this is our duty, this is what we do, we're, we're, we signed up to, and paid for it, and they actually don't like that sort of bit of, uh, you know, standing there under the spotlight and getting applause. No, no, I have to crack a whip to get some of them to come. They just they don't want to come because they are modest, and they're, they're talented people and often brave people, but mm. they don't want, they don't want a, the fuss. But I've made them come, and, and now you, look, you see the looks on their faces and the faces of their family, it's the right thing to do. Well, we're watching pictures of uh, various people going up. As I said, we'll try and play as many of these out and give their stories, because they're great. But how's it been for you, Mr. Roberts? It's your first one, wasn't it? It's um, now because I don't have a deputy. I used to write the script, so this year I've had to do the the, the front stage bit and write the script as well. So I've actually done more than I would normally do. So my I, my role was always in the background. But I, I've been really pleased and delighted to be associated with it because you know I'm proud of them. I'm, I'm proud of what they do all the time. But when you see. Um, the sheer courage of some officers or the, sh the quick thinking and cool, cool headedness, it's marvellous. And, and some of those people who went up there, when you see them on the stage, you think, how's he or she old enough to be a police officer? And they're doing brave things, it's fabulous. And how are you doing? I mean, you, you're always now talking about the, the places that you're going to have to take the, the force over the next few years, which is not necessarily where you'd like to take it. Uh, any updates on that? Well, we're, we're in the early stages of next year's budget. Uh, funnily enough, I have a meeting tomorrow with the Minister for Home Affairs to talk about our budget for next year, but it was interesting today what His Excellency said when he summed up, where he said that the work that the police do, the role we play in keeping the place safe, in reducing crime, in becoming a better organisation, are critical to the economic success of the Isle of Man, and actually I couldn't have put it better myself. And all services, I say the same thing, I mean, it's only so far, oh, so low you can go, really, isn't it? There is, and, and unfortunately we may reach the stage where our, our decline in terms of coverage of the island won't be an incremental thing, it will be quite a drastic thing, but the politicians know and they, they make wise decisions and uh, the Minister for Home Affairs fully understands where we are and is very, very supportive. And, and you wouldn't say that on a broadcast without you obviously meaning to try and protect your core areas, I guess? Um, it's not protecting my areas because um, I'm... I, I've been around long enough to know that actually the island has priorities and the, the island as a whole has to meet them. What, what, what I'm here to do is make sure the people of the Isle of Man are safe and they're safest in the current arrangements.